Well, happy Wednesday, everyone. Halfway through the week, and this is probably the driest day of the week because we've got rain in the forecast just about every other day, and even today bringing a chance of some showers out there. Lighter showers compared to what we're about to see. Winds picking up again as we get into the day tomorrow. High winds and, yes, heavier rainfall as we get into the day. Thursday into Friday, a little bit of a break Saturday, and then another round of rainfall as we get Sunday into Monday, possibly Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Just about every day bringing some breezy to gusty winds and that potential of showers even as we look at Saturday, which also trends on the drier side, but not completely showers moving throughout the area through the course of the next seven days and also some fairly high winds. I think that's one of the most noticeable things that we're going to see with this next system coming on through cloudy as we get through the next couple of days for the coast. Some scattered showers temperatures tomorrow in the 60s and 70s. We do have some time to warm up, but then the next system moves on through and that brings us some gusty winds and some heavy rainfall, especially later in the day into Friday morning for the West valleys will take a little more time getting here, but it is a very slow moving system Thursday night into Friday morning. That means some rainfall could be especially heavy in areas like Josephine County, parts of Siskiyou County, even the Rogue Valley, decent amount of rainfall for a short amount of time. So there is concern there, even though temperatures get into the 60s and 70s, the concern there for those high winds, loose soils, potential of heavy rainfall causing debris flows, landslides, especially in recent burn scar areas east of the Cascades. Windy conditions likely to continue, especially later in the day on Thursday. Thursday and then rain arriving later in the day Thursday into Friday. Snow levels stay pretty high though. These are fairly warm systems moving on through and we just aren't having much chances to cool down with clearing skies because well the skies essentially aren't clearing out. We've got rain Thursday into Friday turning to lighter showers Friday and Saturday. Another round of high winds and rain Sunday into Monday and we'll trend more towards just some showers out there Tuesday and Wednesday of next week for the Klamath Basin temperatures mainly above freezing over the next seven days, but we do cool down as we head into the weekend. Windy conditions, especially around the Summer Lake and Paisley area. Rain, snow for the mountains Friday, especially Sunday into Monday, bringing more showers and more potential of snow for the mountains. Northern California, Mount Shasta itself, seeing a decent amount of snow. We're talking several inches, but you get a little lower into the valleys, into the basins, just more showers as we go over the next seven days. And for the coast, a lot of rainfall possible, especially as we get into the coastal range mountains and then areas like Brookings Harbor, a decent amount of rainfall possible as well. It's going to add up over the next seven days with especially gusty conditions and especially rainy conditions Thursday night into Friday and Sunday into Monday.